<laughs> we did it a hundred times, but now it seems to be a little problem. Let us uh, go on and the team will figure it out. But what you see here, this is the Wern car. And let's have a little bit deeper look at the car itself and what we have built. So we have developed a car completely from ground up to be autonomous from the get-go. So what we are trying to do basically is to deliver a luxury car experience in the space of a compact car. So it's the size of a small vehicle but has higher safety and higher comfort than a luxury car. It's built on a dedicated platform, so we have developed this car with our internal team of the 300 employees of P3, or now Vern. It's based on a leather platform, which is a rolling chassis, basically, skateboard with a body on top. And we have done that in order to isolate the body and the passengers from the harshness of the road to have the best comfort and the best ride. It has a 60 kilowatt hour LFP battery pack that can provide 14 hours of driving in the city so that it's more than enough for daily use, but then it takes uh, every day, it comes anyways to the mothership to get charged and um, cleaned. It has the best possible audio system with 17 speakers, a 43 inch screen and big doors to get in and out to make it easy. It also has a lot of space for the occupants for the two occupants in the car, the two large seats. And it's a body on top of a rolling chassis, so we can develop new bodies relatively easily and fast. So this is a car that we are developing for the last five years. And one thing that we have decided early on that we do not want to do is our own self-driving software. So this is something that takes billions of euros to develop the self-driving system itself. And we have from the get-go decided that we want to partner with the best in the industry to do that. And we have worked with many different companies for the self-driving system, and in the end we have decided to partner with Mobileye, which we believe has the best self-driving system on the market, and we have completely integrated their sensor set in the car, instead of just putting some kind of box with all the sensors on top of the vehicle. So, Vern is completely developing the car from scratch and we are building it and you will see the factory later while Mobileye is providing the self-driving software. And as we said, we strongly believe that the self-driving system is the safest driver and it will improve safety on all roads. But in case there is, a, there is an accident and in case it happens and of course, we cannot avoid every eventuality. We are uh, developing this car to be the safest one possible. So, we have the biggest crumple zone, crash structure that you can imagine in front, because you are basically sitting so far back that the front of the car can um, absorb a big impact in case there is a high-speed crash. We have, of course, airbags, but also interestingly, as you are sitting so far from anything else, there is nothing that you can hit. So in case there is, a, there is a crash, you are pretty safe inside of that car. It should be the safest place for having an accident. And you might ask yourself, why two seats? We have built this car based on data and looking at all the different um, eventualities and all the use cases and in order to get the best experience, we have decided to make a two-seater to use the space for um, the comfort and safety as much as possible because 90% of rides are with one or two people. So we don't cover only 10% of the rides with one car, but if there is more people, simply more than one car will come to pick them up. So this is the basic concept behind it and the advantage is developing such a car from scratch to be fully autonomous from day one, we are using the advantages of a fully autonomous platform that you can't have with starting with an existing car. Just like with electric cars, when 10, 15 years ago, many car companies were starting with an electric only car, they were starting with a combustion platform, making it electric, 
And that was very compromised. And the market also showed those manufacturers that they don't really want to buy cars that have been a combustion car and then made electric because of this compromise.